Hi, Tracy Hugelmeyer here from VintagepreneurUniversity.com, where I help vintage sellers start, grow, and scale their business on Etsy. I also own my own vintage business rustic guy that I've had since 2013 on Etsy. And today I'm going to talk about what to do if you get a suspicious conversation. This just happened to me, so I wanted to share some tips of how to recognize when a conversation is suspicious and then what to do about it. Okay, so last night through my Etsy combos, I received a conversation from somebody who said that they were interested in buying many of my items, you know, multiple quantities and, um, you know, what kind of discounts do I offer in those cases? Now, this isn't completely out of the normal for me. I do get um, people incurring on buying large quantities. So it wasn't an immediate red flag. But this did stick out to me as something that I started off cautious about, just kind of that, you know, initial gut feeling that you get. So it off the bat was striking me as a little bit odd. And I'm just going to read you the first part, the initial conversation that I received so that you can see what I mean. It says, greetings. We have been scrolling through Etsy and your product catches our interest. So we are wondering in what kind of discounts you can give us for a large amount of products. We are doing the deal through Etsy, but I am not able to send you here the full list of products I'm searching for. And she linked to one of my items. So that just means that she messaged me through one of my items and it attached it probably for her. Okay, so a couple of things that stood out to me were what does she mean the full list of products that she's searching for? Why would she be sending that to me, an individual Etsy seller? Um, but you know, maybe she didn't understand how Etsy works. And at this point, I'm still giving her the benefit of the doubt. Um, and so I respond to her that I do offer bulk discounts for larger quantities purchased. Can you please let me know an idea of what you're looking for so I can better help provide you with pricing? you know, thank you for reaching out. She responds then, for some reason, I'm not able to add it here in chat and attachment. Do you mind if I'll send it through email or upload to a hosting service so you can check it and give me some more information about? Okay, so I'm just gonna pause here for a moment because um, the, the thing that stood out to me there was, what does she mean a hosting service? That's not something someone typically um, refers to or uses. And, you know, it's not a commonplace kind of conversation. So I was kind of like, mm, this isn't sounding quite right to me um, at this point, especially. And then I did offer her my email address so that she could email me. I said, sure, no problem. You can email it to me. Um, and then after I gave her my email, she said, well, actually, it's against Etsy rules. We're not allowed to communicate outside of this chat about any deals, so I don't want to get in trouble because of this. I'll just upload the document through some hosting service, and she gives me a shortened link, and then once and says, once you have more information about quantity and price, you can offer me, let me know. You're free to open it from any device if you have any doubts about it. Okay, so at this point, I'm absolutely skeptical. I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to click on that link, right? Um, some random link through some random hosting service. There's no way I'm going to click on that link. Um, so, and, and that's a huge red flag. If somebody ever sends you a link to click on, you want to do your absolute due, due diligence before you click on that link, um, or just don't click on it at all. Um, but of course I still wanted to, um, help her if she was an actual customer, right? I mean, she really was interested in, in buying my products, but at this point I've pretty much written it off. So what I did was I contacted Etsy and I asked for their feedback because, uh, or their insight, you know, has there ever, is there a known scam like this that you're aware of? Unfortunately, Etsy really didn't have a lot of guidance for me. They kind of just said um, that it, it's up to you. Um, this isn't a known scam. Once I asked them and pushed for her opinion, she said, there, this isn't a known scam that, that I'm aware of. Um, oh, and I did respond to, to this person one more time 
saying that I don't think it's against Etsy's policies to communicate outside of Etsy to help facilitate a sale, but I understand if you're hesitant, I'll try to take a look as soon as I can. So that's where I left it. Contacted Etsy and unfortunately wasn't able to get much from Etsy, but I was still wasn't planning on clicking on that link. And since I'm lucky enough to have a husband who this is kind of like his expertise, everything computers, um, I sent it to him and I said, what do you think? So right away he said, you know, absolutely don't open it. Um, they're trying to load a virus to you, report it to Etsy. He's able to, you know, he has a way to look at links like that with app in a system that won't actually be affected. Don't ask me how that works. <laughs> I'm just telling you what he told me, but, um, the other things that he told me that were absolute red flags and things to look out for. First of all, if you think something's suspicious, trust your gut. Um, the other thing is for him, it was a red flag that there was broken English in the um, convo and this person was not located outside of the United States. Now, that's not to say that everybody who has broken English should be you should be suspicious of them, but it, if it goes along with something that doesn't sound quite right, that you're wondering if it's a scam in the first place, it's just something to take note of. Um, another thing, of course, that was a red flag is that, uh, they wanted me to click on a link. They were also trying to steer me towards the action that they wanted me to take. So initially they said, Hey, we could talk about this outside of Etsy, either an email or, um, you know, through the hosting site. And when I offered the email, they said, mm, never mind, actually, let's go through the hosting site. So they were kind of trying to, you know, make it seem like it was my, ch my decision, but it was really them steering me towards what they, the end result they wanted me to do. And the other thing that was a red flag was this person wanted to call out, you know, that this was against Etsy's rules to communicate outside of um, Etsy combos, which is incorrect by the way, it's not against Etsy's policies to contact or to communicate outside of Etsy to help facilitate a sale. And I did confirm that with Etsy when I talked to them as well. Um, but it was kind of like, why is a customer concerned about Etsy's policies? Why would they even know? And um, I even looked at their profile, you know, there was nothing there, there was no, nothing, no activity at all. So this was a kind of like an additional red flag on top of everything else. Not that a profile with nothing there is a red flag in and of itself. So you can see that all these things kind of add together to be that huge red flag. Okay, so I've reported this to Etsy, so hopefully it won't happen to you in quite the same way, or at least by the same person, um, and that'll be taken care of. But you know, this could happen in any variation um, in the future. So just keep an eye on it and look out for those red flags and trust your gut. And if you'd like to sign up for my secret tips and tricks, I have available just for my YouTube listeners. You can go to vintagepreneuruniversity.com slash secret, and I'll link to that in the notes for you below as well. And if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell as well so you get notified you know, whenever a new video comes out, give this video a like. Thank you so much for joining me today and have a great rest of your day. Bye.